Hi guys, this is Devon from Neptune Design. Thank you so much for logging in today. And I'm going to show you today how to set up your Google Display Ads. Now, for those of you who wonder what a display ad is, I'm going to quickly just show you. If you click on a new tab and you type in Forbes.com or any other popular website, um, you'll see that when the website loads up, in between the articles or in between the sections, you get these big banner ads that come up. And that's basically what a display ad is. Now it can come in different size and shapes. It varies. And I'm just going to show you how to set up a display ad today. And just to give you another example of a display ad, here we have another one. There we go. That's another display ad. So basically, we're going to set up our ads so they show up on different websites all across the internet to attract clients over to our business. That's what we'll be doing today. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go into your campaigns menu when you're in Google Ads. Okay, then I want you to click on this plus with the blue circle around it and you're just going to say new campaign. Okay. Now, in the campaign selection menu, you've got a couple of options based on what goals do you want or what you want your business to do. So you can click on sales, you can click on website leads to provide more leads for your business, or you can click on website traffic. You could also have a goal of product or brand consideration and product or brand awareness. You can even promote your app or you can have a custom Go. But for the purpose of this video, I know most people are interested in getting website through to their site so they can sell more of their products. So I'm going to click on website traffic. Okay. Now you get to the next menu that asks you what campaign type you want to run through. So there's different types and I'll quickly explain each type and what it is. You get search ads, display ads, shopping ads and video ads. Okay, so if I go with search ads, if I were to type in car insurance onto Google, these first three results that you can see here, those would be paid search ads where people have paid Google so that when you search certain keywords they show up in the results and obviously based on whoever has the best bid that will be the person that shows up first okay so those are search ads and then display ads i've already showed you guys shopping ads now shopping ads would be any ads where somebody is thinking of buying something so for example if i type in graphics card because i love to go graphics card shopping it'll show you all of the available graphic cards and each and every single one of these is a Google Shopping ad and as you can see there are plenty companies that are doing Google Shopping ads okay so that would be a Google Shopping ad and then last but not least we'll go to video a video is basically if you watch a YouTube video like for example this one there's usually an ad break in between that would be your video ads. You can see those easily on YouTube. They play all the time. Okay. For the purposes of this video though, we're going to go with display ads. Okay. Now we get to choose what type of display ad campaign we want. Okay. You can go standard or you can go with a Gmail campaign. Gmail campaign would be simply the Gmail ads that show up in your inbox. Okay. Uh, but we're going to go with standard display campaigns. Okay. And then last but not least, we have to put in our business website. I'm going to just quickly go and get that. NeptuneDesign.co.za And I'm going to put it in there and say continue. Okay, so as we get deeper into the campaign, there's a couple of other choices and decisions that we need to make. Okay, firstly is your campaign name. I'm just going to call this YouTube campaign traffic. Okay, then you get to choose what location your ads display in. Now, what this means is whenever somebody 
logs on to a popular website that's from a specific country or city or state they'll be able to see your ads so you can choose how deep you want to go or how broad you want to go with your reach I've chosen United States but you can get more specific you can go that your display ads only display in a certain city or you can say that your display ads could only display in a certain state but I'm gonna choose the entire country of the United States okay and then you get to choose your language I'm gonna say English and then your bidding very important okay you can go for a manual CPC basically what a manual CPC is you can say to Google this is the maximum amount that you're willing to pay for a click on your ad so that would be your manual CPC and this is just one of many bid strategies that you can use now you might ask Devin what is bidding basically if there are two companies and both companies have display ads Google has to find a way to decide which ad they're gonna show first which ad is more important and they do that by using a bidding system so if you have one client who wants to pay ten dollars per click for the ad and you have another client that wants to pay five dollars per click the one who decided ten dollars per click is the maximum amount that they're willing to pay that customer would have first preference when showing the display ads but it doesn't mean your ad does never get shown it just means that they will have preference first before you so I'm going to choose on maximize clicks because I want the maximum amount of clicks for my money the bid strategy I'm gonna leave that up to Google and they get to pick um, how much to pay for each click as long as I get the maximum clicks for my money that's what I do there are a couple of other settings you can go for your target CPA maximize conversions viewable CPMs there's a lot of different bid strategies I will be making a video specifically on bid strategies if you guys just subscribe to the channel you guys will see it it'll probably debut in the next three weeks okay so I'm gonna choose on maximize clicks okay then my budget I'm gonna choose on a budget of 20 rand a day okay and then my delivery method now there's two ways to deliver your ads you can choose standard this is where they will spend your budget in a smooth um, balanced way whereby they show your ads throughout the course of the day or you can go with accelerated accelerated means they will show your ads to as many people in your target location as possible and try and spend your budget as fast as possible but for the purposes of this video and I usually like to go with standard so that's what I'm gonna go with add group name I'm gonna leave it as is now audiences this is very important if you're selling a particular type of product there's usually a particular type of website or websites that your potential client or your best client would gravitate towards for example we do Google Analytics, we do um, conversion tracking, we do e-commerce funnel tracking. So most of our clients will be in, uh, interested in web design and development and they'd be interested in web services. So I'm going to tick off these two blocks because that's where most of my clients would be interested in. And obviously Google will generate, uh, give you a section where it generates its own ideas for you. Uh, there's a section where you can search customers via habits or what uh, what they're interested in There are a lot of targeting options that you can go through to make sure that you get Specifically the audience that's best for your business. Okay, so I'm going to choose web services and web design and web development, okay Then demographics if you have a product that only appeals to male or female segments of the population This is where you can select what your preference is who you like your ads to show but I am gonna leave this as is I'm maybe just gonna take out 18 to 24 because my product is more dedicated towards business people or people thinking about starting a business okay then I'm gonna choose automated targeting okay you can choose basically if you wanna set strict rules based on your targeting criteria or if you want Google to go along and learn to find customers like the ones that you targeted over in the audience section so I usually go with 
conservative automation okay and then you have to create your ads now if you guys need help designing ads um, please visit us at neptunedesign.co.za we can help you with setting up your ads designing your ads if you need that sort of thing okay I've already got my ads set up so I'm just gonna click on new ads and I'm gonna click on upload display ads okay so here's the section where I choose files to upload so if you see I've got a lot of files here made in different dimensions so I'm just gonna select all of them okay now some of the dimensions I made are not available but that's fine I think I have a lot that do fall within the requirements for those of you who wonder what the requirements are or what the sizes you are that you should develop you should try and develop a size for each and every single one of these dimensions over here the way you see that is you just click on supported sizes and formats and then it will show you all of the different sizes that you can get okay so then I'm gonna say create campaign Okay, this will give me a broad overview of the choices I made, the bidding strategy I've done, what I'm going to name my um, campaign and what the campaign goal is, or rather not what I'm going to name my campaign, but rather what the campaign goal is and where, what location I want to show my ads in. And it will even show me the ads that I've selected and basically break down all of the choices I've made. And once you do that, you're up and running and your display ad campaign will be up and running as well. Thank you very much for watching. This is Devon from Neptune Design. If you guys are interested in maybe conversion tracking or setting up your ads or anything related with uh, PPC advertising, please visit us at neptunedesign.co.za. I will leave the link in the description below. And yeah, have a great day.